Welcome back to The Watch. And, uh, Tyrant, do you know uh, traditional beauty standards are problematic now? Yes, I do know this. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're getting told this a lot, a lot. I mean, mm. only one one direction. Well, I don't think this is what this ad is saying, though. I think mm. that what this is saying is that um, women are fat and ugly. I don't agree with this. I, I think it's, uh, yeah. I'm I would like to it. see sources for this, uh, the, <laughs> the, for what they've done here, but that's what this is telling me. For those of you who don't know, Dove, mm. they make soap. Yes. And other things. Yes. They felt it's high time to combat sexism in video games. I don't know why they decided that this is the market <laughs> that they should dip their toes into, but um, I'm not an expert. So, Legitimately, though, they, they, they are fighting to change the yeah. depiction of women in video games. Yeah. Not the depiction of men in video games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's plus-size women mm. and fat men. That's how we distinguish these two things. This is, uh, seems to be the terminology that they promote, and that's what I meant about it only going one way. Mm. That, um, you know, the traditional beauty standards of women, that's problematic. Yeah. But Thor getting stripped and, you know, for yeah. eye candy and eating popcorn and yeah. ogling, that's perfectly fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is true. And I, I am objectification, you know, sex sells. It, well, well, yeah. Shockingly enough, most men are attracted to women and mm. most women are attracted to men. Mm. And therefore we like looking at men, like looking at attractive women yeah. and women like looking at attractive men. Mm. This is not foreign it, it, but, but, you know, like mysterious, you know, information hidden in the depths of time. It's more than that, though, because not all men want some, like, supermodel. Like, not all men are attracted to that. But at the same time, not all men are attracted to, to plus-size women. Well, like, yeah. this, is, this is the interesting thing, that people who make this type of campaigns, they don't understand, mm. okay? Men, in fact, not just men, women as well, mm. we understand the difference between fantasy and yeah. reality, yeah. okay? And even though... I've grown up with idyllic representations of both men and women because I love superheroes, stuff like that and everything. That wasn't my standard when looking for a person to marry, okay? Uh, of course, physical attraction is important, but the more important standard is someone who you fall in love with. Uh, you fall in love with their person. Uh, and when you fall in love with them as a person, they become the most beautiful thing in the yeah. world. And that's why when I see my wife, she's the most beautiful person in the world to me. Not everyone is going to be able to see what I see when I look at my wife. But also, the, the people like saying, you must accept me at every size. They're almost ex uh, like demanding that I provide them the same type of gaze that I have reserved for my wife. Like, I don't know you. I'm not attracted to you. And so I'm not going to see you as beautiful no matter what, because you're not, I, I'm, I don't, there's not that connection. I do feel, all right, so I view this ad in two separate ways. Mm -hmm. First off is uh, in character, like custom characters versus uh like set characters in stories. Mm. I personally prefer games with custom, uh, like customizable characters. That's just what I'm into. Same. I, it doesn't mean I don't play games that have set characters. It just mm. means that I'm more likely to play a game if I can create my own character. That's one aspect. Same, same. And if it's not a character that I can create, I'm more likely to play a, a game with a set character if the character is more attractive. We like the idyllic representation. And... Seriously, I was interested in playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Right. Then I saw what they did to the main character. They they made her look like Nikocado Avocado. You know that guy you see that you see the side by side? I've, I've never made that connection. But, but no, okay. you see that this we'll bring up an image, right, 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 right. find the image, yeah. you see um whatever her name is, yeah. and then the guy Aloy. And, and they have the same facial structure. And right. it's just like the, the second thing I think about with this is maybe it's a mentality thing uh, for a men versus women thing. But like, I remember as I was growing up, I used to watch Dragon Ball. Now in Dragon Ball, they're all buff and they're yeah. strong and they're yeah. training. And you know what I would do? I never once went, oh, I want a fat Goku. I went, yeah, that's what I want to be. Exactly. I'm going to the gym because I want to be like exactly. that. They, they were aspirational things that encouraged yeah. you. Like Superman and superheroes, how like... Are, are they realistic? Only very few people can reach those proportions. But even then, you're like, the I'm going to try. I want to try. Exactly, yeah. encourage me to want to be better. Encourage me to get into working out, yeah. to uh, get into martial arts, and all those things. It helped me become more healthy. Even though I never even got close to those proportions, it encouraged me to yeah. reach that because it was an aspirational 
depiction, yeah. a, an idyllic depiction of I, the human form. I reckon it is, there's countless young boys out there, myself mm. included, who got into the gym because of depictions of mm. strong, uh, like superhero bo- uh, physiques. Mm. And they're like, well, I want to go look like that. I, I, I don't, maybe it's different for women. Maybe it just is a mentality thing. They're just so, different for them. There is an interesting difference between uh, men and women in the way that they kind of look at themselves physically. Mm. Uh, women on average are actually more sensitive. Okay. And self-conscious of their appearance. Mm. And there is interesting societal things because, um, more value is put onto women's appearance usually than male appearance. And there are higher standards for female attractiveness where there's a broader range of guys that can be considered generally attractive when women, there's a, there's, you know, so many men are simps and so many (laughs) men are like a woman is a woman. So they don't care. Like I, I see it. Well, a lot these days. This is also true because even with these higher beauty standards, mm. uh, and like we should just acknowledge that in terms of the amount of makeup and, and oh, yeah. like processes women go through to appear attractive mm. versus guys, yeah. <laughs> it's night and day, right? But you'd be surprised how many men just don't care. Exactly. Like that. That's yeah. the other side is like men and women, but we, we're looking at these beauty standards things. Men in reality, and you're a, like, you can check this in your own life. There, there are some guys that, oh, I'll only do it if they're like 10 out of 10, blah, 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 and the vain guys. But most guys, most guys know the difference between reality, mm. and, like, sorry, fantasy and reality. Mm. And their standards, because they know kind of what they're capable of attracting in the real world, yeah. is that. Is that... There, there have been, there's many YouTube videos <laughs> out there where men and women rate their own attractiveness, mm-hmm. and men are far more realistic with how they rate each other. And as a result, you, like, you kind of know that if you're, if you think you're a five out of 10, you probably know that that's the range of women that you would be after. Yeah. And, and then if you happen to get the eye of what you would consider someone more attractive than you, but nowhere near the idealized kind of model or superhero proportions, yeah. the guy still knows, man, I lucked out. I, I, I'm happy with that. And, and, you know, and the truth of the matter is that after a certain amount of years, men and women, mm. they change. They're not how they originally were. Yeah. Like, so. Uh... And this is the other reality that we need to acknowledge as well. Okay. I know that I'm not a 10 out of 10 mm. and there's been times where I've been heavier and lighter and I'm not at my lightest by any means mm. at the moment now. And it's perfectly fine to acknowledge that. And I would like to mm. be thinner and more healthier, but I know circumstances sometimes I just don't get around to it. Mm. It's just the reality. And so I'm perfectly comfortable with where I am at at the moment. But I also acknowledge that, hey, I would love it to be more healthy and more cut more and all that, right? And it doesn't bother me. This doesn't isn't world shattering. Yeah. And I'm not forcing the world to then acknowledge that, no, no, I am beautiful. And well, if you do not say I'm beautiful, you're a bigot. Well, I think it's more if somebody says something about your physical appearance or your weight, you're not mm. going to sit there and go, oh, th- this is ridiculous. You're going to be like, mm. well, okay, maybe there's some truth in it. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm, like, not, I'm not, you know, like... <laughs> Brad Pitt or whatever, yeah. whoever, whoever the beauty so standard is. These comments days. to people's appearance do affect people differently. And mm. I have seen more stereotypically women are usually more sensitive to comments of their appearance than guys. Oh, it's such a weird thing. Cause like, yes, they also get more visceral. Mm-hmm. It's, it's much more for men. I feel like it's much more balanced, you, but with well, women, it's way here more is the interesting... super positive and super negative. Yeah. Here's the other interesting thing. Comments regarding women's appearance more often, and I'm talking about critical comments about women's appearance, more often come from other women than men. No, no, this is true. So uh, Yeah, I agree with you in like in reality, but I feel like online it might be. Online different. it might be different, yeah. and, uh, and trolls usually go for the lowest hanging fruit, and, yeah. and it's whatever they can visually identify to criticize, and if they know they're more, you know, women yeah. more sensitive to appearance, then they'll attack the appearance. But um, in, in reality, yeah, yes. There was a, a morning show, right, mm. where... Um, there was as a male and female presenter and an Australian morning show. And the Australian presenter went out of his way to wear the same suit every single episode, mm. uh, except for when it needed to be dry clean. So there's only a few exceptions yeah. where the female presenter always, you know, would change up thing, you know, her costume, her outfit, something. And in terms of comments and feedback for their appearance, he got criticized so much more mm. in for her appearance than the male host did. And he was always wearing the same thing. And the thing is though, most of those comments regarding this female presenting appearance came from other women. I'm just, uh, it's funny that no, it's funny you say that because like you've seen how I dress outside of like <laughs> our, our costume and I wear the same, I, I have like four of the same thing. I don't, maybe it's just a man thing to wear mm. like 
a set clothing each day. Yeah, I know. We, just, find, we find the style just, we're happy with and we stick with it. It just makes it easier. Life's easier. We men are simple yeah. creatures and we're happy about that. And it makes it... <laughs> all of this is the, the interlude into... Uh, this, yes, into this well, dove ad. This is, uh, this is where it's important. And there's even probably some more that I want to discuss because the dove ad ride, I think um, they're trying to cater to women. But, but why are they talking about gaming? But then no, I don't exactly, know. exactly. Because gaming is a predominantly male thing. And this just comes off to most gamers as an attack uh, on our own preferences than it is a supportive kind of ad campaign for women saying you're wonderful the way you are, which I don't necessarily think is a positive message, by the way, um, because encouraging unhealthy beauty standards, mm. one, is, is really bad. Mm. And two, it's not going to help them out in the dating scene. Mm. Like, seriously, think about the mindsets. One mindset is that you have a woman who's overweight and says, no, no, you must accept me as I am, accept that I'm beautiful, otherwise you're a bigot. But by the way, I can be just as um, objectifying of men, right? Or a woman that says, okay, um, I might be able to find a guy that can appreciate who I am for another, but it would still be helpful if I can lose weight and try and present myself in the most healthy way possible. Mm. I take issue with the one thing you said. Yeah? That gaming is predominantly women. No, I said gaming is predominantly men. Oh, sorry, uh, predominantly men. Yeah. It's actually predominantly women. Did you know this? When you factor in mobile gaming, Shad. Mobile gaming doesn't count. I know it doesn't count. I know it doesn't count. Mobile As a gaming, gamer, I don't count yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> but when they, do, when they do studies on these things, they include mobile gaming. And mobile gaming is predominantly women. And yet the games that they show women playing in this, <laughs> is this a mobile game? That's the whole point I was getting to. Yeah. <laughs> this is clearly like an a, MMO. Yeah. Like an actual MMO. Yeah. And so... It's such a stupid, mis kind of targeted ad mm. that. What's well, confusing more than anything? Yeah. Right? Like, it, we, we spoke about on a live stream today about the Miller Light and Bud Light ads. Mm. Like, at least they're within the realm of what they're talking about. Like, they. Yeah. I. You don't like them, don't agree with them, or whatever, like that. Mm. But this is like, they make shampoo. Yeah. Why are they making a gaming ad? I don't get yeah, this. Exactly. And the whole movement, of the, the fat acceptance movement, okay, mm. where fat is beautiful, they're trying to really push this and promote this, right, mm. is so counterintuitive and hypocritical because, one, women do not give men that charity, mm. okay? They, they're like, like, is there any mo movement that's like, fat Thor, you must love him the way... No, 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 they, they want him cut, they want okay. him cut. Okay, well, hold on. With fat Thor... Oh, okay, which fat Thor are we talking about? Are we talking about the Marvel fat Thor or uh, 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 the God of War fat Thor? Oh, I don't know either. <laughs> well, Fat Thor, if, it's, if it serves the story, if there's mm -hmm. a point to it, mm -hmm. then I don't see a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. That, yeah. I'm talking about beauty standards and mm. stuff. And do you, I've not come across a single guy, and maybe they exist somewhere, okay, but a single guy saying, you must accept fat guys as beautiful, no. otherwise you're a bigot. It's funny because fat guys will come out and say, no, the fat movement, this fat acceptance movement is not a good yeah. thing. Most and guys, they are fat. Yeah, most of the way guys are like, no, 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 I'm not going to accept it. I'm going to fight it. I'm, I'm going, going to try and change, and change it. And I have, myself. I have massive respect for any person who is overweight and goes to the gym to try and change that. Legends. I am, Legends. Go for it. I, 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 those to women and men, by the yes, way. Yes, to women and men. I, when I see those mm. videos of like people laughing at them in the gym, I get disgusted by those things. Mm. Like, if someone has the courage to go to the gym mm. to try and change something about themselves. Yeah. And an overweight it. woman that's actually exercising, mm -hmm. all right, and trying to improve themselves yeah. is actually more attractive than the exact same shape overweight yeah. woman who says, I'm beautiful the way I am. Yeah. What that will cause if for most guys is resent mm. saying, no, no, you like, what, what is this reality where suddenly I'm not entitled to what I'm attracted to? And you are saying I am somehow bigoted yeah. for saying I'm attracted to conventionally shaped women. Well, I, it's one of those things where it's like, where they say they don't have to work on themselves. And it's like, mm. well, I go to the gym, I do it, yeah. you can do it too. You're just lazy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Like, it just gets to a point where it's like, I don't like doing it. Working out isn't fun. I mean, well, <laughs> it's kind of fun. No. <laughs> it's a chore more than anything else. Mm -hmm. But I, you want to do it to maintain something, like whether it's mm -hmm. your strength, whether it's your body, whether it's all. It's hard to do. It's not yeah. an easy thing to do. So when people say, no, I'm not going to do anything about it, it's like, well, okay, you yeah. open yourself up to criticism. And, and it's pretty disgusting where they're literally trying to shame Sexual preference. And I thought, whoa, I thought you were entitled yeah, to what you're attracted yeah, to. Yeah, you know, yeah. personal preference. That's, that's dicey waters there. I know, I know. But that's what they're trying to say is like, you must accept all women as they are. I was like, no, no, no. I will be attracted to what I'm attracted to. Mm. And I remember, you know, I was very attracted to my wife. Okay. And you have your own personal preference, the things, the features that you really like, uh, facial structure and, and everything. And then again, you fall in love with the person 
and you develop that kind of, I don't know, love gaze mm. where no matter what you see the most beautiful person in the mm. world, again, there is, they're trying to demand, like, you must look at my interview. It's like, I don't know who you are. Oh, your... how spicy do I want to get here? Go, go. Well, this is a recording. Suck <laughs> bigot. <laughs> Basically, yeah. basically, that's where it's going. It's, yep. it's like, you must now, oh, man. Uh, but we're in that reality where suddenly you're a bigot now if you're not going to be willing to date a trans person. Yeah. It's like, hang on, are it's you like, insane? And those, yes, the world is going insane because yeah. that's where it's at, where you are bigoted now if you will not be considered, you know, if you're not, if you're not willing to go out with, a guy is not willing to go out with a woman with a penis. It's, it's insane. Yes. It's insane. Now, and so, but what's interesting, do you see how related this all is? Yeah, yeah. And it seems to only go one way as well, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we were speaking about before, like, there's articles out there where it's like, oh, plus size women don't want to date fat men. And it's like, well, even in the terminology you're using is not equal here. Exactly. Like, if you want to call them plus size women, I don't care, do that. But you but don't call plus size men. <laughs> yeah, you don't say plus size men, you say fat men. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Not that it offends me. I don't care. I'm well, just no, no, saying. I'm offended by the hypocrisy. Yes. The double stare. Yes. That's where I. That's where mm -hmm. I take issue. But this ad here. Uh, let's let's play let's a little do bit. It. Of it. I, so, playing video game, and look at this. We have a what, what you could say. When I say conventionally attractive, I. Mm. There's a broad range of what is conventionally, but slim well, like, fits. Like a superhero physique. Yeah. Exactly. And even, like, even this, sorry, the face is ugly. <laughs> Look at the face. I'm sorry. It's like, they, like, I've well, seen more extreme okay. superhero model proportions. I don't than take, this. I don't take issue with it because it's an ad from a shampoo company. So it's not <laughs> like they're in the business of this. Literally not in the I mean, business of if this. If they want to see, like, they should check out some Korean MMOs, like Black Desert and, or, um, ah, oh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, the, PC hasn't gotten to the to those sorts of company, yeah, countries yeah. there. Oh, they they go supermodel to the extreme. Yeah. I was like, you really wanted to show that. But then uh, it's basically a pre-recording, you know, mm -hmm. blah blah blah. <sighs> what I feel is so disingenuous here, right, is that he starts to feel dissatisfied with mm. the, her avatar, yeah. which is I. I've never come across anyone like that. Like like me, when I make an avatar in a video game, I, I, do I want him to look like me or do I want him to look like what, you know, imaginary yeah. fantasy idyllic version? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like you said before off camera, it's escapism. Yeah. That's exactly. what a video game is. So, and this is something that's a bit, uh, also personal. Everybody has their own varying degrees mm. of how far they want to go. Well, here's the interesting thing, right? Like... I'm at a position now where I don't think I'd ever be able to get to a fully ripped state because now my health is in the way. I, I mm. exercise, I have chronic fatigue syndrome, so exercise just mm. can actually make the condition vastly mm. worse. And so I'm at a pl place where I have to actually try and regulate my exertion mm. to maintain this condition so I'm not constantly crashing and unfunctional. Yeah. And so as a result, I probably will never get the physique I wish I would like. Yeah. So, you know what I like to do? I can imagine. Mm. I can pretend. I yeah. can have an avatar that depicts some... And by the way, I have examples. And so, this is uh, me in Conan Exiles. And this is my character right here. Right? Look, look at this guy. Yeah, see, so look how big and ripped my guy is right mm. there. Because I don't... I don't uh, if I could ever achieve that, that would be awesome. I don't mm. think I ever will. Mm. But does this depress me? Does mm. this make me unsatisfied with who I am? It's just bonkers. Yeah. So she's looking at herself, right? And then this just, I don't know, makes her feel depressed. Like, look at this. And this is why I, w I went back to that thing where I was like, is it mentality? Because when I see someone like, like Goku, I'm going to use Goku mm -hmm. as an example because that's what I did as a kid. I always thought, I want to be like that. Yeah. I want to be big. I want to turn Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. I, is it just different for women? Do they have a different mentality when, they see, so. when they see ideal archetypes on the screen? So there, there is this... They, they say there's this thing where like, you know, Barbie and idyllic depictions of women sets an unrealistic beauty standards. We now, set it for men too. We set it for men too. It, I think it does affect women differently, but not so broadly or, or insidiously as they like to try and mm. victimize, you know, women doing where they then, then pander to them like they are doing here. Uh, because I have read cases of uh, teenage girls 
dealing with a lot of stress because they feel like they can't meet this ideal mm. standard. And then they get really warped perceptions where they're actually quite attractive and slim, but they don't think they're nearly mm. close enough. And so, um, what's the thing? It's, um, body dysmorphia. It yeah. might be that it might be body dysmorphia, but stereotypically it does seem that women struggle with conditions of mm. being stressed or overly sensitive about their period. Well, funnily enough, that's... a lot of men have this as well. Like if you go to the gym and you see a big giant buff guy, they, there are a lot of men like that who also suffer from body dysmorphia and they, they feel like they need to get bigger and bigger and to bigger. To the point of depression and to the point of using to... substances, to the mm. point of abusing things because they, even though you may look at you and go, well, that's a giant guy. They, mm. they don't feel that way. And for the, for women, it seems like it's sometimes the opposite way. Around. Yeah. Well, see, now we have something completely different where back in the day, women that were struggling with this type of thing, they did need positive reinforcement mm. where a lot of girls who actually were perfectly attractive. There's, there's nothing wrong with positive reinforcement in terms of being someone who's a, a larger in stature. The mm -hmm. problem is when it's praise, mm -hmm. that's where the difference is. Yeah. Well, and on, like, I think you can encourage people to just be slim and no matter what, mm -hmm. because the, where I goes wrong is when you do have like an attractive young girl who, or, or any woman really, yeah. who is actually not overweight, right? and still feels really negative about their body, that's when positive reinforcement yeah. is good because it's like, you do realize heaps of guys will find you attractive. You're perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but now they want to go further to say, no, no, even obese being, yeah. you know, morbidly o obese is you, you must reinforce that and convince them to do that. Like, no, no, that's actually unhealthy. And, and yeah, it is it's... true. Mo mo most guys will find that less attractive mm -hmm. and then it does a disservice to women to say if, if, if all this positive reinforcement is trying to tell this woman you're attractive, right? And most guys actually will not find mm. overweight people, you know, attractive, mm. right? Then as a result, what are they going to do when they come across the guys that, well, you're a bigot. You're, you're just, mm. you know, a, a bad person. On the point of weight loss, mm. the, it, it's, look, it comes down to a discipline issue. It's very, it's relatively easy to lose weight. You just need to be in a calorie deficiency, meaning yeah. you just don't need to consume a certain amount. You actually amount. don't need to exercise to lose yeah, weight. Yeah, you don't need to exercise. Mm -hmm. So it, it always comes down to like a discipline issue. Mm -hmm. So when I see people who are unwilling to not, like if you're not willing to go to the gym, fine. Well, just, but eat differently and you can change this thing. Because people have seen me, yeah, because I've been online mm. a lot, my weight has fluctuated actually fairly extreme in some extent. Mm. So case in point right here, um, this is probably where I was at my heaviest, one of my heaviest, and I got up to about 112 kilos. Mm. Okay. Well, this is the thing, right? At no point did I actually feel embarrassed about mm. it. I was just, this is who I am. Mm. I'm happy with it. I was perfectly, you know, um, at peace with myself. And I think that's good. You do need to accept yourself and acknowledge that there are different points in your life where you can focus on different things. And so it never bothered me. But neither at any point did I convince myself anything outside yeah. of reality that I knew I was overweight and it would be much, much better if I would be thinner. Yeah. And so then I actually ended up losing um, 22 kilos. Mm. And that was not from exercise. It's actually a weird um, symptom of chronic fatigue syndrome yeah. where you can have eating disorders and I lost my appetite and it stopped. I just ended up eating yeah. way, way less. Yeah. But I shed, I shed a lot of kilos. A lot of people have seen that. And I know I'm starting to put it on again. And that's because, look, you're going to fluctuate. And so. Well, something similar has happened to me. When I first mm. came here, when I first arrived here mm. to now, if you look at the videos, I look like I've gained weight. But funnily enough, I haven't, I've actually lost weight. I lost <laughs> muscle mass. That's what happened. I've lost muscle mass. So I look smaller, but it makes me look fatter. It, it happens. It, it does. These uh, things happen. And it's part of life. And, and so when I was heavier, right? Mm. To try and shame people, like, no, no, how dare you, you know, or you must find me attractive. Ridiculous. Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's against I, reality. I would never demand someone to yeah. find me attractive. That's weird. It, I know. It, it's, and I'm not going to demand someone to say I'm beautiful either. Exactly. Like, it's bonkers. But that's what this acceptance movement is demanding. And it's like, you're disconnected from reality. And if anything... The more idyllic representations of, you know, um, the human form, mm. which we see in superhero comic books and models and everything like that, that just encourages me to try and achieve it, if anything. That's what I don't understand. Yeah. Like, that's why I don't get this movement. I show me the, I, show me the, the male, uh, ideal male archetype physique, because I want to be that. So yeah. I want to, it, I want the inspiration to go and do it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I get the impression that. Men and women do have different reactions mm. to, I guess, the ideal form. 
I do think women do have positive reactions as well, that I want to achieve that as well. But there are cases I've seen where it affects them negatively emotionally. Yeah. And it seems like the positivity movement is trying to cater for that, but now they've gone too far. Mm. Now they're, they're saying all shapes and sizes, and it's going to backfire on them massively because the natural result of this is shaming men for their preferences. Mm. That's the natural result. Well, maybe we should look at it in terms of the target audience for specific media. So if we all watch something that's clearly targeted towards men, maybe have a beautiful woman in it because that's what men want. But if it's something targeted towards women, have whatever you want. Have one of Maybe this Dove ad is supposed to be for that. But then the massive contradiction with this Dove ad is that they're using a medium, video games that are... That, that, that is not their market. That's exactly. What, that's exactly. what I don't get. I, this, this is not like... Again, it, I don't even think they should be reinforcing uh, you know, the positivity movement to being obese, mm. which is... That's already too far. Mm. Uh, and it's going to do women a disservice, especially health-wise. Um, so that shouldn't be done anyway. But then to wrap it up in the package of video games, criticizing video games as a genre that somehow... Guys, you are problematic and you've done something. And video games, you video games are making, a, you know, conventionally yeah. attractive women. How dare you? It's like, holy crap. This is, uh, this is, and it like, makes it seem like it's an attack on men's natural preferences yeah. of, of beauty. Yeah. And then in addition to that, it's, they're trying, they're saying, you'll see this, they're trying to change the industry. Yeah. And you know, the result of that is like, if we see unattractive people in the video games that we want to play, guess what? We're just not going to play it. Yeah. And, and it's not, it's happened, oh, it's happened to video, sorry, it's happened to comic books. Like, yeah. comic books, yeah. they've tried to cater to women more often in comic books. Mm. And so a lot of the female characters just look like men. Yeah. Like, look what they did to Captain Marvel. Some of these mm. image, uh, images, drawings that they've done, they look awful. Yeah. And you're not interested. One of the things Ma that- Manga gets it. They get that they people, get it, yeah, they get, they, get they get it. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get an example. Danger girl. This knows mm. its market. Yeah. And, and and it knows what guys like. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the things that attracts guys to comic books is, yeah, both not only the beautiful women, by the way, but we love seeing awesome ripped dudes kick butt because we oh, want to be like that. It just reminded me of uh, the, what was it? The, See, look, look at this ripped girl. Right the here. New Warriors or whatever it was. Internet oh, gas. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Dora the Explorer and stuff. Yeah. I, I, there's a reason why guys love James Bond. Okay. Because oh, yeah. that, you know, we would love to, you know, be so awesome as James Bond. I don't want to sleep around like him. I think, yeah, but anyway, you know what I mean. And so comic books have tanked massively because so many guys have checked out. Mm. Part of the enjoyment of comic books is the idyllic representation. Well, it's not just that messaging, what mm. they've started to do with like, there's a, there's a whole litany of issues mm -hmm. with comic books these days. There's a reason why manga is now yeah. top dog. But they're doing it with video games already and they suffer as a result. Mm. Like you see a lot of video games where the female characters are, they go out of the way. The developers have gone out of the way to make them less attractive. Mm. Mass Effect Andromeda. Did you see the female characters? In that? Mm. Like they look so plain. Well, it's not just that. We've got to also acknowledge writing. There's also been big, writing like there, there, was, there was that, what was a game that recently came out? Forspoken. Where the, the oh. writing was just god awful, that like yeah. it just makes an unlikable character. But the character also wasn't as attractive as they could have depicted. And this is fiction; you can make them as attractive. As, and part of the appeal of video games is the fantasy ideal. Mm -hmm. True, but that mm -hmm. one might just be preference. The writing was just like the, the problem the with that one. Yeah. But you, there's actually multiple video games where you see the female characters actually made less attractive mm. because they don't want to be problematic. And this type of crap, bull crap marketing is an attack on the video game industry to try and encourage that. I and that annoys me. I just don't understand why it's by Dove. I don't get this. I do not understand. It, it's Dove wanting, it's like, video games are problematic. They're just wanting to step into a realm that they have no business commenting yeah. on. And you're like, piss off. We don't need your bull crap shaming video gamers for what we like and enjoy, shaming men for what we like it's and like enjoy. It's like if we put a Shadowversity video up where we're mm. like talk, reviewing sneakers. Like, <laughs> why are we doing this? It doesn't make sense. Uh, so, she. this is what she really, really... Oh, look, she's using a Dove wipe thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if someone goes to the mirror and looks at themselves like that, it's a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> men do not do this. This is her realizing... You're beautiful. I'm beautiful. I don't need to change myself in a video game. Well, all right, if that's what you think. <laughs> so
So question, question, Dove, if we want to talk about uh, un, you know, fair beauty sense, everything. Mm. Why do you have a shave of pits? I know. I know yeah, yeah. I, like I thought, just accept. Why? Why are you imposing? You know, a beauty standard. Why are you that... drawing an arbitrary line? Exactly. Why, uh... Exactly. <laughs> Something I do want to mention, though, as she starts off as this fully armored mm -hmm. combatant, when she leaves, she's just wearing nothing, no, no armor anymore. Oh, she? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and so again, they're trying to imply that you know, this like women's having attractive avatars, everything could could affect them negatively and stuff. Because even though I did acknowledge that there is a more common kind of uh, thing that you see uh, girls being negatively mentally affected by, you know, Barbie and the unrealistic standard. But guess what? A lot of girls love depicting themselves in idealized forms. And so, you know, one of the funniest things so I, I did, the, I've been playing a lot of Conan Exiles recently and the, the, the arc has kind of ended, but I was playing with a lot of other streamers. So as X-Ray Girl, Nina Infinity. And so we're playing with these other, other girls, right? Guess which players went out of their way more so to make the skimpiest I don't Characters. know. Uh, we might have saw it in the background of the other one. It was the, the girls, the girl players, like extra girl and everything. They give their characters the biggest, uh, you know, uh, assets yeah. and go on around in thongs and everything. And so, if you want to try and say that girls don't like making idealized avatars, idealized avatars, which are just it, like in the more unrealistic kind of yeah. proportions. They do it too. They would do it. And in fact, they were going around in more skimpy stuff than the yeah. guys were. Well, and the girls doing it. And so this is bullcrap. If they're trying to say this is a more honest representation of women generally, no, women love the idealized power fantasy kind of, you know, mm. to avatars as well. Yeah. You wanna, I think this next bit is uh, where they throw out a statistic <laughs> with no source. And so now she's going to go back in the game. As herself. With no armor. As I said, look, look. Yeah, armor, armor, no armor. <laughs> it's like, and, like, if you had the, this is, I think video games actually reveal a bit of a truism to reality. Mm. It's this. If someone could just suddenly make their body appear however they wanted with the click of their fingers. Yeah. What would they honestly choose? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not. Even this person here, right? Yeah. Who's now saying, I'm so beautiful and wonderful as I am. Give them a choice where they could yeah. click of the fingers, make them appear in any. What would they pick? And so that. And there's nothing wrong with there's that. There's nothing wrong with that. And and, and so that debunks this ideal mm. bullcrap. And because this is reality, when gamers, people, right, uh, have the option to make their avatar, if there's the option to make them as fit looking as possible, what do you pick? Yeah. Because we know what actually is the more idealized, better option that we would love to have if we could have. If I could click my fingers and give myself a cut, ripped, you know, body, I freaking would do it. Who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> like, and so this is bullcrap because it's like m most women. Obviously, when they're making their avatars, if there's the option of being more fit, they pick more fit. I've not come across it, and maybe I'm sure it exists somewhere where they can make an avatar who's a bit more chunky. Well, it's usually them. for fun. Like, if you're going to do one of those avatars, they usually, like, go crazy. Yeah, with yeah. It. Uh, well, it depends if you're seeing the avatar as, like, a representation of yourself in mm. the video game or a separate character. Yeah. Because I know for myself, when I'm making, like, separate characters, I've made fat characters on the odd occasion just because it's a separate character. I want them to be a bit yeah. more chunky and it's the type of backstory that they have. Yep. But whenever I'm kind of wanting to make an avatar of myself, it's always ripped and more yeah. attractive if I can make it. And it's, it's very common. Yeah. Most people do this. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. And this type of ad is saying that's problematic. Uh, you should, you should, and again, because now this is her going back into the video game. Well, maybe this ad isn't for us. Shana. Well, then they shouldn't have picked video games. <laughs> yeah. That's the uh, truth. That like, is the truth. That they're, is true. they're, they're commenting on something and shaming at a, a huge group of, uh, you know, gay, like, you know, a demographic basically, uh, doing it wrong when this isn't your wheelhouse, get lost. We don't need or want your commentary on our pastime. Yeah. Friggin' dove. You make soap. You make soap. Bloody hell. But no, they, they've decided they need to go on a crusade. And so this 74% of girls feel underrepresented in video games. I need a source for this. Yeah. Okay. Even and if you give me a source, okay. 74% of girls feel under underrepresented in video games. Well, now we need to decide 
well, what type of video games? Because like I said before, a large market of the mobile game ads is women. But in terms of... You know what they did? They probably polled the, mm. the women that work in their company yeah. and, and, and they, who don't play video games. And they probably show, you know, Lara Croft is like, do you feel this represents you? Uh, no. Uh, and their sample size is probably only 100 people in their own company. Justin, we just did a poll here. And at Night's Watch, 99% mm. of us like swords. 99% of Nine, men. 99% of men like swords. This is a fact now. You know, what can we... Uh, like facts, you know. <laughs> so this is bullcrap. This is absolute bullcrap. Where I don't know where they got it, but it's most likely some bullcrap sample size that they did. And like, I would love it if they tried to do um, another poll of actual gamer girls. Well, the problem also is like what we said before. There's different types of games. Yeah, exactly. So like, if you do, you feel represented in Tetris. Yeah. And then if you go play an RPG where it's a set character, well, I am not, I'm not a female with red hair. So in Horizon Zero Dawn, I feel underrepresented. But then if I go play Elden Ring, they I were, can make the character literally, literally me. They were trying to represent people with a bit more chunky. Oh, <laughs> they made them ugly. Like they went out of their way to make them more ugly. Why? So this underrepresented thing is such stupid nonsense. Mm. But the context of that stat with them, they're, they're injecting the stat with the overall video. Yeah. The overall video is talking about weight, mm. essentially. And so the natural conclusion of what they're saying is that 74% of girls feel underrepresented in video games because they're fat. Yeah. That's, that's what this is actually. And mind. then there's also another uh, side to this. If 74% of... Uh, Plus size women feel un uh, underrepresented in video games. It means because the market has decided they don't want to buy those video games. That's just mm -hmm. capitalism. Beautiful, ain't it? Free market. But going into this, you were saying that um, this offended you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and it's this stat, isn't it? Like, yeah, 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 I, yeah. Because it, it's saying. I mean, well, like cause you're showing a plus size woman who's freeing herself, and now go, yeah. and then you just throw up a stat straight away saying seventy four percent of girls feel underrepresented. Are you saying that 74% of girls who play video games are fat? That's what they seem to be saying. That's what I got from that, uh, which is offensive, Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's hilarious and dumb. It's just, they have, they're so out of the wheelhouse. And so now the, the other implications, like they're saying, this is bad. Therefore, video games need to have more fat people, more fat representation. Go for it. I mean, you do know a lot of video games have character creations where you have the option to make yeah, yeah. like fatter or not. That's what I said. There's different types of games. Yeah. But but maybe that the reality is when most people have the option of being fit or fat, what do they pick? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I, they have a stat here and it says one thing, reality but says a different thing. The set uh, characters like Lara Croft, Lara Croft needs to be a bit more chunky. Yeah. That's that's the takeaway. It's like, oh yeah. right, do that. See see how successful that will be. Exactly. And then and it won't be successful, and then gamers will just be bigots because how dare you not like Every, overweight. Everything women. links back to Gamergate, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, <laughs> all it all does. roads lead back I to think it's all back to Gamergate. <laughs> Sexism in gaming. And so Dove, they this is such a, an atrocity that they've partnered with Unreal Engine and Women in Games to change this. Dove cares about it so much. This is such, you know, oh, there are people starving in the world, but no, this is a battle that we need no, to virtual signal. They're going to, it's Let all them. virtual signal. Let them waste their money. Let them throw their money on the fire. No, but what annoys me is that there is collateral damage along the way where games oh. that might have been more enjoyable get caught up in this bull crap. Like, like CD Projekt Red is on board with ESG now and crap, and they're going to, you know, they need to make sure our games are properly representative. It's like, we just wanted a good Witcher game, not this social engineering bull crap that you're going to inject in your stuff. At this point, they're, they're not going to learn. They're not listening. So just let them. Let them do it and watch it burn. <laughs> I mean... I love a good fire shot. Look, I agree with you, but still, we're going to lose some good games along the way that could have been far more enjoyable. Perhaps. Without all this pandering nonsense. But it's always darkest before the dawn. <laughs> we, we're, we're in the dark times, Shad. We'll, we'll see the light again. Well, one of the advantages out of the mainstream burning down their own, mm -hmm. you know, houses around them is that it gives opportunities for independent creators. Mm -hmm. The comic book industry has died yep. completely, and as a result, 
I'm making graphic novels mm -hmm. and profiting off their loss. If they're not going to make good stuff, we can make our own. Yeah, and same with gaming. If they're if, if the gaming world wants to follow what Dub is, you know, encouraging them to, you're going to ruin your own. And we this isn't just like talk. We put mm. our money where our mouth is. Like mm. Nathan's making his own game. Yep. I'm making my own comic book. You're mm. making your own graphic novel. Like we are. Like hey, we want to be. We, we want to be the change we want we to do. see. We do. We will do it. We'll do it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, oh, if that's the case, I guess you do it and they're going to ruin it. And, and it's just so funny. It's like these game companies, right? Unreal Engine. You want to listen to the company Dove versus your consumers. Yeah. You're going to change your products to cater to people who use soap versus people who play your games. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't... They're idiots. They're completely stupid. But what, the, the, the thing is, Chad, there's a marketing team. These companies are huge. They have a whole team for marketing. What's going to drive sales? What's going to drive interest and internet chatter? All these different avenues. Oh, but it's not about actually selling their product. It's about socially engineering the world into the way that we... Bud Light, perfect example. Yeah. You know, their consumers, they were a bit fratty. We didn't yeah. like our consumers. Yeah. So mm. we need to shame them. They're, they're, they're problematic. And we need to cater to the uh, ideals that we want this to is follow. This is true. Also, a quarter drop in their sales. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Go it for it. Great. <laughs> Go do for it. it. <laughs> do it, Unreal Engine. I, I, listen to these people who oh. do not use your product. And uh, oh, I mean, I, I doubt there'll be that much backlash to this one because I'm pretty sure Dove is more women-centric anyway. So I doubt they'll have much. I issue. doubt anything is actually going to change in an Unreal Engine. This oh, is this is all just a massive virtue signal um, to the woke crowd. Mm. Like, look how progressive we are and everything. But the backfire is that the fact that they've targeted gamers in the process and everybody targets gamers. They're the easiest to target. We do not like being attacked or we just, shamed for just liking standard we just want a game music. bro we, we just want a game we want we want a game and we want to enjoy our avatars we want them to look awesome both Video men games and the women don't cause violence like it's, it's yeah. always gamers and stop saying we're problematic or or that we can't differentiate reality from fiction you know yeah we like awesome looking you know avatars and stuff in video yeah. games doesn't mean that we don't know in the real world that we you can be attracted to a woman that perhaps is a bit more on the larger side yeah. but if you fall in love with a person Guys, you know, we're not that insane. Yeah. Not most. Some are. By the way, some are. Yeah. But they're the idiots, okay? They don't speak for the everybody. Exactly. You're going to change it. Man, you're resting on it. And so that's what they want in video games. They want... Chungus. <laughs> uh, next, go, keep going. There's the, the... Let's make virtual beauty real. No. No. It's escapism. We go there, so it's not real. That's the whole point. <laughs> you're not the target audience for this, Shad. So your your, your opinion is invalid, just it's, like that. It's just so stupid. Yeah. It's like keep going. There's, there's a bit more. The real world. world sometimes sucks. That's why we want fiction and skins. The real world always sucks, to be honest. Oh gosh. You know what's funny? I think the avatar is skinnier. I think she is. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I, I, I want the Jordan Peterson tweet, tweet oh. where it's like, no, not beautiful, and no amount of authoritative something coercion will change that. I was like, that's, a, that's a perfect tweet for this image. <laughs> Jordan, retweet that. Like, get this image and do it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you know the tweet I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He adds a point. He does. So, uh, is that everything for this ad? Or is there anything else you want to uh, mention? Like, this is the thing, right? This lady, potentially, like, if you you can see her bone structure and stuff like that, mm. like, like slim down, she could probably be a knockout, right? Yeah, sure. But there's a, no, 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 that's problematic. You must like her the way it's like, no, I'm sorry, this is unattractive. I, sw I swear, if anybody in the comments says like, oh, it's bent down to body type or this, that, like, just eat less. I'm sorry. Like, it's just being a calorie and, deficient and, look, and you can lose weight. I know this is coming from a guy that's on the larger side because I'm not broken from reality, okay? And guys, again, one, once again, there might be... Uh, I get the impression from the attitude and stuff. She's probably an insufferable feminist. And so I probably wouldn't be that an attractive a person. To, but pretend that she had a wonderful personality. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of guys that could potentially, you know, you fall in love with the person and then 
their size is going to fluctuate throughout your entire relationship and you love them because you love them as a person. We're talking about yeah. beauty as an overall thing. Exactly. We're not talking like usually beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This is mm. very true. No, I'm sorry. This is ugly. It's not attractive. It is. It is. It is. It's, you're fat. Okay. I know I'm a bit fat as well, but that's why I'd like to get better. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Right, like if somebody, I have no problem with someone who can sit there and say, well, I'm fat. So mm. therefore yeah, I can call you fat too. This is a fair standard to mm -hmm. apply. Yep. Was there anything else yeah. you want to well, add? Well, it's funny because there is, uh, in terms of when women rate men and men rate women and stuff, women have started to rate overweight women. Oh, they're beautiful and everything like that. Have you seen these uh, mm -hmm, little mm -hmm, videos? Mm -hmm. And then in the same video, it's like, oh, how would you rate me? And the guy is way slimmer. And it's like, oh, you're, you're ugly. And stuff like that. And it's like, oh, oh, really? Am I? And so women are still, you know, on a large measure, just as critical against men's weight, yeah. but far more lenient against you know, that's fine, women's. but it's got to cut both ways. That's all. That's yeah. all well, I ask. Well, the response for me saying this woman's attractive is probably like, "Well, you're not so, you know, slim in yourself." I was like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> that, that's all it takes. It's not hard to acknowledge mm. things about yourself. Like, I don't know why people are so. They can never be critical of themselves. Mm. Like, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. It's yeah. okay to acknowledge these things. And there's nothing. Let's change beauty. Good luck. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, like, because uh, this reality, it's not going to work. As, uh, as, as much as, you know, these feminists might want to shame men's like, you're just a bigger for all. They're going to say, whatever, go on. You, you can go find, you know, some simp that says, I, 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 I'm just going to not give you attention. Especially if you're trying to change gamers. Yeah. Gamers yeah. are, you know, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard about this, but we don't like to change that much. <laughs> it's not going to get any success because most guys, uh, will be attracted to what they're attracted to. And guess what? A lot of it's founded on biology, okay? That a slimmer woman and a healthier woman is a better child rearing and all those type of things. It comes down to very instinctual things that you're not going to be able to recode yeah. the biological nature of humans, okay? No much. You, get, you can try and socially engineer it and it's just going to cause a greater divide between the people who's like, you must accept me who I am. Guess what? They're going to say, see ya, you're going to die alone now. And uh, if you don't want to improve yourself, and you're just going to be all entitled, that's unattractive, and then guys are going to look elsewhere because we don't need you. So all I've taken from this video is that, uh, you know, Dove has no idea what they're doing, and I don't know why they're dipping their toes into this. I've mm. also taken from this video that uh, you're going to try and change gamers. Good luck. And, and change beauty. Yeah, go Flat. for it. So I haven't really learnt much, to be honest. I mean, what about the, the slim women who... Um, Used up. What does, how do they feel about this? Is there something wrong with being slim now? Like according to Doves, that's not, yeah, we must change beauty. Yeah. Well, they're the ones setting the unrealistic expectation for other women. So mm -hmm. they're the enemy. Seems like that. Mm -hmm. And the people who are most critical of like, you know, slim women seem to be these larger women. <laughs> so at the end of the day, be attracted to whoever you want. If you find someone beautiful, that's great. Yeah. If you want to go to the gym, I respect that. I 100% yeah. respect that. More than that, that, we encourage everyone yeah. to be more fit. Like go it's it. on my mind constantly and I'm going to always try and be as fit as I can. I know I'm not going to succeed. I'm going to, yeah. but I, I acknowledge that. That's the reality. And so, yeah. And be proud of who you are. There's I, nothing I, wrong with that. Just don't try and, yeah. don't fish for praise. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. This is just uh, such disconnected uh, uninformed nonsense that we see from mainstream all the time. Dove wants to do it now. Look, I actually don't think it'll affect their sales too much because it's a women it's a, yeah, brand yeah. for the most part. At least that's my understanding. Yeah. And it's pandering to, you know, overweight yeah. women who use their soap. Yeah. So I don't know what that's got to do with gaming, but yeah, I, I whatever. Get, well, screw you for, you know, shaming gamers and trying to attack us for what we like. Uh, and I, I won't use Dove now. I don't use. My wife occasionally gets a Dove product, and so I can just say, "Hey, hun, we don't want to use Dove anymore." So I, don't, I can't remember which one I use. I think it may be Head and Shoulders. Head it's and Old Shoulders. Spice. I know that, yeah. but I don't know what the parent brand is. It might be Dove. It might be Dove. Oh well, we can we can change it. Like, hey, you want to attack us? Screw you. We're not going to use this stuff. But they're the only ones who make Old Spice stuff. I like the Old Spice stuff. Find another one. They'll be. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, stay on watch.